Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are two people who bet on a match and there are different outcomes possible and the respective odds of total match goals. Okay. Now if you do not understand odds, that is perfectly fine because it has been explained in this paragraph. Okay. Now uh, it is also given that Amit plays bets of rupees this, this, this and this on outcomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sumit plays bets of these many on outcomes these respectively and both deposited the amount for the bets on the five outcomes before the match began. So each of them bet on all these five outcomes. Okay, so based on the outcome, it will decide that whether they will make profit or they will make loss. Okay, so let us see that what is the uh, what is the amount deposited and what is what what does this odd thing means. Right, so let us first calculate amount deposited that is 15, 25, 46, 58, 63. So Amit had placed a bet of 63,000 and Sumit has placed 20, 35, 55 and 61. So Sumit has placed a bet of 61,000, right? Now both of them deposited this amount. So this is already deposited. Now whatever they win, based on that, it will decide that whatever, what is the profit or loss. So now odd means that 9 slash 1 means that the, if the outcome is realized, that means if there is less than one goal, so every one rupee placed will give you a profit of 9 rupees. That means a person who bets 1 will get up back 10 rupees, right? So 1 to that is returned and 9 as a profit. Similarly, let us say 1 upon 3. In that case, for every 3 rupees placed as a bet, you will get 4 rupees in return. Okay, total profit is calculated as the difference between the total amount they bet and uh, like whatever they uh, they had uh, the earning after these matches. Okay, so this means that nine ratio nine slash one means that ten in return of one rupee. So if you bet bet one rupee, you will get ten rupees in return. Here it means five in return of one. Here it means 4 in return of 3. Here it means 2 in return of 1. And here it is 6 in return of 1. So if you bet 1 rupee, you will get 6 rupees in return. Total profit of 5. Now, uh, we will find the scenarios. right? So what, what can be the different outcomes? First outcome can be 0 goals. Now, if there are 0 goals, uh, odds are 9 ratio 1 that is 10 in return of 1 rupee. So he will get 150,000. Alright, so if there are 0 goals, this outcome will be true, this will be true. Less than 1 goal, this is also true and this is also true. So 10 in return of 1, so he will get 150 for this and 10, it is 5 times, so 50 out of this. So he will get a total of 200, okay, and this person will get 10 times that is 80 plus 12 into 5, 60. So this person will get a return of 140. Since they invested 63 and 61, he will have profit of, this is the profit. Okay? If there are zero goals, he will have a profit of 137 and he will have a profit of 79. Now suppose one goal is there. If there is one goal, then this outcome will not be true. This is the only outcome that will be true. Okay. So this person will get 15 return. And this person will get 60 in return. Okay. But they bet 63 and 61. So this person will have a loss of 13. This person will have a loss of a 1. Right. So that is the result when there is a 1 goal. Okay. Now if there are 2 goals, what will happen? This outcome will be false. This will be false. Only this will be true. So they get 4 in return of 3. So if he has bet 21, he will return 28. And if this person has bet 15, he will get a return of 20. Now, since he bet total 63, he will have a loss of 35. And this person will have a loss of 41. Okay, so that is the scenario when there are two goals. Suppose there are three goals. So in that case, what will happen is this goal will be, uh, this will be true and this will also be true. So one, uh, one, one in return of two, that means uh, 
from 12 you will get 24 more so 24 if you add to this he will have a loss of 11 and this person will get 40 more so 40 more means will have a loss of 1000 okay now if there are more than three goals three plus goals that means this outcome will also turn out to be true and for one rupee they will get six rupees so for 5000 you will get 30000 so add 30000 to it you will have a profit of 19000 and this person will get six times that is 36000 so add 36 to it you will get a profit of 35000 so these are the profits that they will get in each of these outcomes the numbers that are underlined okay in which scenario the total loss of the two is the maximum so total loss is maximum when there are two goals okay now this could have been answered without even calculating this see the reason being in this in case of one or two goals right or maybe in case of one or two goals only one one outcomes are possible okay and in case of two goals only outcome three is possible and in outcome three the output is minimum right you are getting four in return of three so one could have answered using this logic in case of how many goals will one of them make profit and the other makes loss okay so if we see this either both of them are making profit or both of them are making loss so there is no such case right what is the maximum total possible profit made by them so maximum profit is there when there are no goals right so they will make a profit of 137 plus 79 that is 216 and in terms of 1000 rupees right so that is the maximum profit that these two people can make and then the next question asks that uh, if this guy uh, Sumit made a loss of 1000 how much profit loss did Amit make so in case of 1000 that uh, there are two possibilities so there are those two scenarios in which Sumit is making a loss of 1000 right so we cannot determine that what is uh, his profit or loss because in one case he is losing 13000 in another case he is losing 11000 so that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. Hope you found this set unique and uh, interesting. So please don't forget to like the video.